Well, here we are, a day <laughs> later, a day later, um, September the 27th. And this is now close to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I think you've had a couple of rough days. So maybe you can tell us what happened. What happened? Um, you know, yesterday was um, pretty boring and long and um, kind of felt like things were going on and on. And then um, went home last night and really felt like what, what's the point? What's the point? Are we really going to find justice in this system? Yeah. yeah. And so when I was given the opportunity to make my submissions this, late this morning, later on, I, um, I started to go through the, the papers and make my points to the judge. And as she spoke to me and as she asked me questions and I answered them and she sort of gave some information to me, it became clearer and clearer that duty council courtroom 103 duty council courtroom 103 that it didn't even matter what you said what i said or what we did the court is limited to the law if the law is not broad enough to encompass what's happening with the community with people trying to get the milk that they want then the court can't do anything for us yeah and so i just said to her then I'm not going to participate. There's no justice here. Yeah. I feel more confident to get arrested and yeah. have my community and the fellow human beings and humanity to to find what's right. Yeah. I yeah. don't believe that the court's going to do that for us. Yeah. So I just said, arrest me. <laughs> but, they, but they didn't. Well, they, this is having matters in 104. Please attend inside. They can't yet. They have to get their injunction first, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I'm not participating in responding so, to that anymore. So, Michael, you said yesterday that um, you had certain proposals. So, um, were they addressed? Well, as the as the <coughs> as the day evolved, um, there were certain ideas um, we tried to you know address so that it be it would be converted into an action. The, exactly. This application. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> as we went through that and saw the pile of paper and the, the kind of nonsense of the. Okay. So for, for us, it became clear it's no sense of wasting money here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all costing money, mm -hmm. left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. And um, for us, it was more a question how can we push this whole thing very quickly? into a resolution mm -hmm. that means either mm -hmm. um, they're starting, if they get the injunction, they're starting arresting people, mm -hmm. or if it's only a bluff. Mm -hmm. And if they arrest people, if they arrest women mm -hmm. and uh, mothers mm -hmm. and the pastor of the church, mm -hmm. um, then at least it becomes, you know, it got it get pushed into the political in, in the political arena yeah. because everybody says well we can't do that unless unless politicians change it yeah. but for us it's just a matter of interpretation of the law yeah. yeah you know it's it's they insisting that the milk act is for all milk producer and they they basically forcing us under that and when you really look what the reality is yeah. that <clears throat> a lot of milk no a lot of milk producers drinking their own milk yes. they're transporting their own milk and yeah. so on so enforce yeah. the law equally or yeah. give people the freedom since it's not unlawful or yeah. it's uh, it is lawful to drink milk so stop that discussion these are all semantics mm -hmm. and playing with words instead mm -hmm. of you know dealing with the issue at hand mm -hmm. and i raised the issue since since uh, 1994 since 1994, 789,000 people died in Canada from smoking. 789,000 people died from smoking. Yeah, and they don't. Forget During that. these proceedings, these are two days of proceedings. 200 people died. Yeah. Okay, and this is these are Health Canada statistics. Yeah, exactly. Okay, 200 people died. 
And you go to a public school and see how many of youngsters stand on the side of the road beside the school and smoke cigarettes. Okay, is anybody doing any kind of enforcement in regards to that? This is where you can stop mortality, the mortality of young people, of babies and children, instead of going because there's no instead of going after us because in these 22 years there is nobody, nobody who died from raw milk or got sick from raw milk. But tell me, uh, they were going to have peel and something else? We don't know if they want to add it. Uh, add, In other uh, words, it wasn't talked about? <laughs> well, it's coming up, we, but we have removed ourselves from the proceedings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so you don't really know what happened uh, the we, rest of the day have, today? We have no idea what's going on. And they will not let you know? Oh, we probably know from, uh, from the oh. attorney from... Uh, from uh, the cooperative, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, our farm, our food co-op, mm -hmm. is in there as intervener, mm -hmm. uh, at the moment um, uh, represented by Louis Taylor, mm -hmm. um, and, and they are rightfully intervening in mm -hmm. these actions because they they are the ones who own the cows and who own yeah. the milk equipment. Yeah. So yeah. it's their right to, uh, to do that to intervene yeah. and protect their right. Yeah. Yeah. We just milking the cows anyhow. Yeah, exactly. So, in other words, um, after this today, you have something else. In other words, is there more coming uh, up no. with the other cases? Not, not for a while. Not for a while. Yeah. So the, the the worst that can happen is they arrest all the people that uh, are in the co-op. I mean, how would they even choose who? The whole, well, they're probably all hand big people. They're probably handpicked people, so we'll yeah. find out. Yeah. Let them. But they have to get their injunction first. They have to get the injunction first, uh, and then we'll see. Yeah. But we're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, the two of you. <laughs> it's kind of hard what to what to say about it because. Um, this is not this is not the only place where food is a. Um, something that we're not supposed to have if it's healthy, you know, so. But at least it's, it, it's something you can fight for, you know, when, yeah. when you look at the GMO issue, I mean, they're feeding people all this, uh, you know, the GMO food. Exactly. They have no way to exactly. protect themselves from that, yeah. you know. Yeah. And here people make an informed choice and then they get prevented exactly. to make that choice. I don't know if you know, but I in interviewed um, Dr. Not interviewed, I filmed Dr. Uh, Senef from, from MIT in Boston. She came to the University of Toronto and uh, talked about right. the glyphosate. And I mean, the glyphosate, that's what they should go after because why, why does everybody have restless leg syndrome? Why does everybody have gut problems, leaky gut, you know? And, and the thing that, that is healthy is the raw milk, and you're not allowed to have that. Right. So to me, that, that is, but you know, healthy, that's, that, that's to me is a conspiracy. It's not the health care system that they're popping up, it's the sickness care system. It's okay, yeah, they, they make sure we get sick. Well, there's no money in healthy people. No. Other than no. that, they may be more productive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, kind of when you do, when you start re researching all of this, which I've done a long time for now, I mean, I've done that for years now, um, it really points to the fact that, um, you know, that, for instance, uh, the people that have cancer and are diagnosed with cancer, and they, they don't go to the doctor, they don't do any, I mean, they get diagnosed, but then they don't go back. They live. Longer? Not just longer, they live. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and if you go to the doctor and get chemotherapy and you get radiation, right. six months. Yeah. When here in Ontario, um, you, you have to sign a paper that um, the, the, the radiation will give you a 37% chance of getting a secondary cancer because of the radiation paper that you have to sign. Wow. That you understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can look that up and on the internet should be able to find. So, yeah. Well, well I think it's important that the consumption of raw milk is directly linked to agri-food business. Yes. And the yes. corporate sector. Exactly. And, and I think that's where all the interest lies. Yeah. And if people were awakened to that in the form of agriculture that is being supported by that, yeah. more people would be supporting yeah. what's happening here. 
Well, uh, I can tell you when you look in the supermarkets, people can hardly push the carts because they're so sick. So sooner or later, you know, I hope people wake up. And when I go, like uh, even up in Barrie, I go in the supermarket and sometimes they talk about milk. Oh yeah, we know Michael Schmidt. Okay? So people are getting, it's just taking a very long time. So, so in other words, as far as this case is now concerned, they have to actually make up their mind. They can't push it out and say, we'll decide that some other time or we'll have some other kind of court the case. The one for today? Yeah. Oh, they can um, well, she drag can it out. Reserve the, the decision for today's motion, or mm -hmm. but the motion has been dropped. I think the motion we with, withdrew. We basically withdrew. We, we, we didn't withdraw. We, we withdrew from the proceedings, proceedings. Mm -hmm. and then the Dad rest, and the rest of the the attorneys withdrew respondents. the motion. The, res the uh, and the respondent removed. Um, the no, dropped the motion. The ones that you made. No. Yes, the ones which we did that it would be changed into an into action. an action. Okay. So that right? is gone. That's okay. gone. Okay. That's but, gone. But the peel mm. and and. And the, the that Peel and Simcoe uh, can join into the loss uh, into the action against us. We don't know. Yeah. We have no idea. We not we not anymore uh, having any, any comments in regard to that. We don't care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they want to, I mean, talking here to the police, they just shake their head because they're they're literally for twenty years. Mm -hmm watching me going in, in and, and out, out of the courthouse. Yeah. I said, what are you doing here, Michael? Yeah. I yeah. said, in for the milk. I said, you not again. Can't be true. Yeah, yeah. They just not shake again. their head. Yeah, yeah. So Alisa asked one of the police guys and said, well, would you arrest us, you know, if, yeah. if there would be an order? Well, he wasn't quite clear if he, yeah. if uh, they would have the freedom to not arrest us yeah. when they get the order. But yeah. this is how it works. It's a police state. Yeah. You know, with with bureaucrats having policing powers, um, basically on every level. I mean, yeah. farmers are tied, yeah. completely tied because of all these regulations. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you need to free yourself, and it's not that we crazy freemen on the land or something like that. No, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. you know, if you want to do that, go ahead, arrest us. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens with it all. Exactly. Well, I thank you both, because if it wasn't for you, uh, people, there would be a lot more people <laughs> that would be sick, because you've been doing this for a long time, and those people that have had that milk, I mean, I look at them, they're healthy. Right. So, you know, let's have more of that. <laughs> All right. You Take care. Bye.